Hello everyone, welcome. It's Kirsten from Kirsten Red Resale. I hope everyone's doing wonderful today. Uh, thanks for clicking on the video and checking me out. If you're new here, hi, thanks for clicking. Um, today is my preview for my live sale, which will be tomorrow evening. Um, I do primarily uh, auctions, a couple buy it now, so we do giveaways and hopefully it's a fun time for all. Um, if you would like to participate in tomorrow evening's fun times, if you have not yet um, registered with me um, or subscribed, you need to be a subscriber in order to bid and you need to register. And that just means you need to shoot me an email with your YouTube name, your real name, your email associated with your PayPal address, the country, city, and zip code uh, where you live so I know how to bill for shipping. That's it. And if you just want to come and check us out, that's awesome too. Come in, say hi, hang out, have a good time. Yeah, anyway, I'm just gonna show you a few things that will be here for tomorrow. Um, let's see, I have a little bit of mixture as always. I always say that, but it's true. I'll start with this, I'll start with this. Um, now I do buy this kind of stuff quite frequently, but for myself, I don't necessarily bring it to sale or auction, but I figured I would this week just to see how it goes. Uh, this is a Victorian beetle brooch. Oh, is it going to focus? I don't know. Let's see. There we go. Um, yeah, I know. I know. Yes, it, it is a real beetle. Not alive, obviously. This is old. This is Victorian. Um, it's just a thing that they, they wore, they loved. Um, and that's, that's where I'm going to leave it. So it's a cool thing, especially if you are a collector of Victorian or just starting out. Um, this is a lovely addition to have to anybody's little collection. Really pretty. It's in really, really good condition as well. Sometimes I find them and they're like smashed and falling apart. And this one's in complete. I mean, I think it looks great. So anyway, okay. <laughs> I don't know why I feel like I need to say disclaimers, but you know, it is YouTube. So you never know who's seeing it and who's going to get upset and offended by whatever. So, oh boy. Okay, so this is... Um, from 1934, this is sterling silver. This is a buckle bracelet. And I know it's from 1934. Maybe it's a year older, I don't know. Oh my gosh, why is this not focusing? There we go. It has someone's lovely initials on the inside with the date 1934. Uh, this does open up here. And this one is in fantastic condition. If I can close it on camera. It has the little slide buckle part here, which um, I've bought in the past and it's missing this and this is all intact. Beautiful. This is sterling silver and it's pretty adjustable as far as, you know, as many holes as there is. So it fits a teeny wrist that I am probably to like an average size wrist, not a big wrist, but really, really pretty. This one I was debating about bringing or if I was going to keep it, but, um, you know how that goes. It's just one of those things, you know, will I wear it? Probably, but do I need it? No. Does anyone need it? I don't know, but it's just gorgeous. And if you all don't need it, then I'm going to say I need it. So, you know, I like to justify when I buy things. Like, well, if it doesn't sell, I really love it. So, you know, one of those things. Okay, what else? Um, I'm going to show a couple bracelets. I, I have more than bracelets, obviously, but um, I have this. Uh, is this is Mexican. Yes, it is. Yeah, sterling silver uh, and blue mirror cabochons uh this is an older one it is marked in here but i can't really read it very good it's kind of faded away i don't know i guess if i polished it maybe i'd see it better um there's a little bit of wear to the mirroring on the inside this is not on the outside this is on the inside there's nothing that i can do about that that's inside here and that happens with the old mirror i mean i have old mirrors around my house and that has happened to some of them as well so anyway but this is sterling silver and I've always loved this kind of thing. So if you do, I've got that. Let's see. What else? Okay, so this is cool. I'm just gonna talk about it because it's a you know, it's like the big piece for the evening. This is uh made by Bill Mex uh Dene. Dene, please tell me I'm saying it right, Dene, which is Navajo people. Um, this is sterling silver and charite. This is a huge piece. Um, look how big this is. I mean, this is gorgeous. Maybe if I can get my camera to focus, it would be even more beautiful. I dropped this camera so many times that, you know, knock on wood, you know. Anyway, um, let's see if I can really get it. Really amazing when you can get in there and see all the bits of the char, right? Like how it's just almost layered looking. It's really cool. And then 
Um, I did not pay that, so you don't have to It is a side piece, so it actually has his actual signature and Danae on it, Sterling. Um, this is what uh, they go for. I'm not asking that, obviously. Um, and I have it on this big, this is a bigger torque. I do have a thinner, smaller torque, but this is a huge piece and I feel like you kind of need um, a substantial uh, torque or chain. I mean, I do have a thick, thick chain if someone is more interested, but a thin one won't cut it for this. This is a heavy, big, big piece. So um, I was really honored to be able to be able to bring this to you because it's it's very different with the Charite. Um, beautiful, beautiful detailed work, and it is a signed piece by a very well-known uh, uh, Navajo jewelry jewelry artist, craftsman, whatever you want to call it. Very talented human being. Okay, we'll do it at that. So, and then on a different note, if you are more of a modernist person, I have this fantastic, um, this is from Danish, sorry, I... You will have all my, you know, usually I have all my information on the evening of my sales. Um, I'm pretty sure this is a Danish designer. This is a, like a satellite ring. I don't know. I just, sterling silver. Um, and I have to test this. I don't know if that is actually uh, rose gold or if that's uh, copper. I don't know. Um, I will test that later. But this silver has all been tested. It is um, adjustable. There is an artisan mark in there. It is a fabulous ring. Let me see if I can look at that. Very sculptural, very modern, very cool. This is a vintage piece. Just a cool, chunky sculpture on your hand. I love it. Love it. Yay. Now, if you were at my sale last week, I did do, I try to do sneak peeks. I don't always do them, but I try. So I brought two uh, things. Now this, oh God, this is fabulous. Look at this. This is a very old Mexican sterling silver um, and Okay, so I've been told that these are three different things by three different people. I was told that this was jade. I was told that it was chalcedony and then agate. Well, agate, chalcedony is an agate. Um, and the lighter colors, I was told, who knows? So it's just, it's in the agate family. I do not believe this to be jade whatsoever. I have not even tested it, but um, let's just, I don't know. It's glowy. It's beautiful. This is all sterling. This is a big piece now this is a much older piece this is like i think they said from the 30s so it is is a perfect no see how that's a little wonky there but the latch works very well it's just you know i don't know it is what it is uh there is a safety um i did not i did a quick little wipe down but there's when there's this old these pieces i really just want to leave it to the owner because look at this beautiful patina over time that it gets this really lovely satin finish almost it's just really warm and love i don't know i love it um this is a big piece this is big this way this will fit this is a size seven for a seven or smaller wrist but there is a little gap there and that's just you know over time i don't know gorgeous piece okay and then on a similar note now this one's old but not quite as old um i have sold a very similar one this one's different this one has carved caps so we have this is also Mexico. I had to get the little sticker off, which I did not do. I don't know if this is Tasco or just vintage Mexico. I think it's just Mexico. I don't know. Anyway, same stones. Look at this. Um, but these are carved. Look. Is that gorgeous? Beautiful floral. And this one is slightly larger, if I remember correctly. And it is sterling silver. Everything works great on it. It's in very, very good condition. Perfect? No, because it's an older piece, but very good, yes. Okay, so this is, oh yeah, this is a bigger piece, bigger size as far as these go. So this is a, what is that? A seven and a quarter. Like right in the middle of the bracelet is a seven and a quarter, so right here. The bottom of it sits at a seven and a half. Yeah, anyway. Really cool. And I thought it was so cool that, you know, these are from different people, different times I bought them and everything, and just how they're... It happens like that sometimes. You find things and like in a you know a couple of weeks, whatever, and there's like similar or part of a set that was broken up or who knows, whatever. Just cool stuff. Yay. Well, I think it's cool. What else? <laughs> um, let me see here. I have oh, now if you like brutalist pieces, here we go. Um really trying to have a mixture. This is made by her name is Sandy Baker. 
Uh, this is a, it is signed. It's a little, it's a sterling silver. It, where's her signature? Let me see if I can find it. it there it is. It is a signed right there. Um, and this is a sterling silver pendant that I just put on a chain. Now, obviously, the chain is much newer and much more shiny. Um, I don't have any tarnished chains right now, so this is what I'm selling it with. Um, yeah, you're really buying it for the pendant, obviously, just because if you like this type of thing, this is brutal, this is fabulous, and it is a signed piece of art. Very cool, very, very cool piece. And it's not a big pendant. Um, so if you still like funky and, you know, but you needs to be a little bit subdued because maybe your personality isn't like this big, loud, hey, look at me person, which is totally fine, you know, you, but you still love this kind of thing. You just want to think something subtle where it catches someone's eye and, and raises maybe an eyebrow and they go, what is that cool thing on you? You know, anyway. <laughs> This is how I think. I'm so sorry. <laughs> if you're new, if you're not new here, you already know that I, you know, I'm all over the place, but I, I, I visualize. It's just what, who I am. And, um, I see things as stories and scenery and backdrops and stories. I don't know. I, I guess I'm not normal. <laughs> Maybe that is normal. Who knows? Anyway. Okay. So these are really cool. These are, um, these are a newer piece, but I just thought they were beautiful. Um, I know, like there's been like a whole thing of Ethiopian opal and Aurora opal and blah, blah, blah. And um, either you jump on the bandwagon or not. And that's totally cool. I personally, yes, maybe there's a lot of it out there right now, but I think it's really pretty. And I think that it's not going to be out there forever and it's going to vanish <laughs> just like everything else does. Um, and then you're going to be really lucky that you snatched up some when you could. So I've got these really, let's see if I can get it to show on camera because opals and all this kind of stuff is quite shy. Uh, these are Aurora Opal, and this one has, oh, there you go. Can you see that in person? I know, sorry, there's actually pinks and blues and purples. Let's see, I don't know if I can get any of that. Well, there's a little bit of green, and I'm trying to get it. Anyway, maybe I'll have to figure it out by tomorrow night. I have bought so many different types of lighting to show jewelry properly, and um, there's pluses and minuses with all of them, just like anything, right? Anyway, they're very pretty. Um, they glow in person, and unfortunately, you're not catching the pinks and purples very good, but they're gorgeous. They really are. Oh, there we go. Okay, let me stay still for a minute so you can see it. There you go. See that? Okay. Uh, very cool, and they're not very big. They have some weight, though. They're a little heavy. They are sterling. Look at that. They even have backs. Unheard of. Anyway, I thought they were beautiful, so I wanted to pick those up, especially uh, for people who can't. I know with some people's jobs, I was told that they can't wear like big, long, dangly earrings um, for, you know, I don't know, whatever field you might be in. Uh, um, so I do try to pick up some shorter earrings. I tend to wear long, dangly earrings when I wear earrings, but I do understand uh, that not everyone can uh, for their daily, their daily hustle, you know. Okay. Wow. I am just blah, blah, blah. So unfortunately, um, a sale fell through from last week and, you know. It's unfortunate it happens. So listen, oh, real quick, PSA, uh, whatever the little shooting stars are. Um, if you purchase something from me, I invoice that night, same night. If you realize that you have not received an invoice, okay, please reach out to me. Um, I, I have my PayPal set up where you will get automatic reminders every 24 hours. I mean, it's kind of annoying, but... Evidently, I need to do that because um, some people say to me, I never got your email. Check your spam, first of all. Okay, please check your spam because I guess sometimes it gets thrown into spam. But it happens to everyone, right? Like you're expecting something and it doesn't show up and then you realize it's in your spam. Um, and sometimes PayPal just doesn't send it. You know, it's not nobody's fault. I don't put blame on people or any of that kind of stuff. It just is what it is. Um, so anyway. I had a sale fall through, um, no fault of anybody's, it just happened. So I have two things out of the three that are still available. Um, and these will be, these are available for pre-sale. Um, not much is, but because these were supposedly sold, now they're not, they are available again. Um, and if they don't pre-sell, then I'll have them as a buy it now, probably tomorrow evening. So I'll just show you them while I'm here. So this is a beautiful sterling silver. And if you see, this is a satin, the texture they did on it is a satin look really pretty with the black onyx and this is a pin closure um it is not hard i know a lot of people are 
you know, turned off from pins. I find it easy, especially, um, I wear a lot of like vintagey bracelets at times, and these are difficult, this one's not, but sometimes they're difficult to latch on and latch off. This is not, and I wouldn't say it wasn't if it was, because what would be the point of that, right? So um, this is a beautiful bracelet. Um, it's, I don't know, I don't know if this one is Turkish or Israeli, I am not sure. Let me see. Hmm, does it even say? No, it just has a symbol on it that looks like a crown, like a queen's crown, but like this, like hump, hump, hump in a thing. Anyway, um, it's beautiful. And I like this look here. So if it does rotate, this is pretty. Look how pretty that pin is. A lot of times they're just whatever, you know. It's a lovely bracelet. So this one is available. Um, this is a vintage piece. It's not antique by any stretch of the imagination, but it is a vintage piece. This is uh, seven inches. So this one is available if someone is interested. Um, I have not been doing a lot of pre-sales recently because um, I haven't been buying, you know, 100 pieces a week. <laughs> Honestly, um, it's just gotten not feasible. Um, and uh, and then I know it upsets some people when they come because they can't do the pre-sale, whatever it is. You can never win, right? So, um, yeah, you can only do the best you can. Anyway, so this is another piece that will be available for pre-sale if someone is interested. If not, I'll just bring it tomorrow for a bite now. This is all sterling silver. All of this is. And then it goes down to this really beautiful rainbow moonstone and peridot pendant. It's gorgeous. Uh, it is articulated there, so it has the hinge, so it will move with you. And this is a nice enough size bail that you can take this off. You can put this on whatever you want. You can wear this gorgeous necklace by itself, put a different pendant on it. You know, very versatile. Um, and it gives it a little extra something. I like the texture of all this with the bevel edges there with the, I don't know, it just looked great together. Look at that. Really pretty piece. I loved it. Now, this is not a crack. I know, I just want to point that out. That is just a natural window. They're called windows a lot of times, um, at least with people who collect crystals. Anyway, um, it is an interior line. It is not a crack. Gorgeous. Anyway, so this is available if anybody is interested. Okay. That's a lovely view. Anyways. What else? I don't know. I think, was that a nice little variety to show? Uh, hmm. I think that's okay. Uh, my, my packages have not come yet today. Same story as always, right? Like, I wait, I wait, I wait. You never know when things are coming. Um, yeah, I've got some... Yeah, there's fun stuff this week. I think that, I think there's some cool stuff. Anyway, um, I will do have a little bit of amber, a little bit of turquoise. Not that much this week, but I will have some just because I do have some people that that's what they love. So I want to bring it. Um, and yeah, anyway, uh, I do have some rings. I, I don't know what's coming in today. We shall see. Not as many earrings. I have the fabulous earrings that you see back here and a couple more to that side over there. But not as many as usual. Huh, let's see. I don't know. Oh, oh, oh. Now this is just... I have over here. This is a cool piece, and um, I have worn it um, when it came in because I just, there was something about it. This is a big, chunky, shorter. This is a sterling silver necklace chain. It's a chain, but um, I think it's from Mexico. I'm not even sure. Um, but it is a fabulous piece. Um, I was just wearing it alone because I just think it's totally big, substantial, chunky, awesome by itself. Uh, but this, can you imagine this with some awesome, huge crazy pendant as well um big big chain like this is you could probably even put this on here like like just to give you an example how big the chain is this is a big chain you know um so anyway this might look cool in there too i don't know so uh i will have this available i just didn't have a bust up here for it so i had it put aside but i never i don't know i love these kind of chains um yeah i don't know cool thing it's a cool thing anyway <laughs> it's here if i don't show it just say here so where's that big chunky chain and i'll pull it just pull it out for you okay well i know this was kind of brief yo yeah look 19 minutes is under 30 minutes yay <laughs> anyway i hope to see everyone tomorrow this is kirsten from kirsten red resale remember my email will be in the title of this lovely video please press the thumbs up share my channel out subscribe do all those fun things it is free it is easy and it just helps me out and i do appreciate each and every one of you anyway be safe out there have a fabulous day and i hope to see y'all tomorrow bye